statement on behalf of the family. Our sobs of pain and physical anguish are met with moments of our beautiful memories of the vibrant and vivacious person she was. She lives on through her precious boy who each carry a special part of her in them. We know that Savannah has not been suffering all of this time. She has been cradled in the arms of our great Savior, Jesus Christ. A collection of FBI agents and others loaded the long metal crate into the back of a truck, which has since left. Good afternoon. I'm Robert Purdy with the Kentucky State Police, currently serving as a public affairs officer with the Kentucky State Police Richmond Post. With me today are representatives from the KSP Post 7 and the Richmond Police Department. Thank you to everybody who is here in attendance today. We are also streaming this news conference live on the Kentucky State Police Facebook page. The purpose of this news conference is to provide an update on the Garrett County death investigation and how it relates to Richmond PD's missing person investigation. As a member of this community, I'm well aware of the results, uh, that the results of this investigation are incredibly heartbreaking. Our hearts go out to the family and friends of Savannah Spurlock. Over the past six months, the family, community, and law enforcement have been in search of answers. These are the facts of the investigation that we can confirm today. The Richmond Police Department was contacted yesterday afternoon in reference to a possible location of human remains behind a residence on Fall Lick Road in Garrett County. As a result of the information that was received, the Richmond Police Department notified the Kentucky State Police. Multiple law enforcement agencies, including the Kentucky State Police, Richmond Police Department, Garrett County Police Department, Lancaster Police Department, and the FBI responded to the scene and secured the area. A coordinated search of the property was conducted late last night, resulting in the discovery of human remains just before midnight. The recovered body was removed from the scene and taken to the state medical examiner's office in Frankfurt for an autopsy and identification. As a result of the autopsy, we can now confirm that the remains are those of Savannah Spurlock, who went missing on January 5th after leaving a Lexington bar with three individuals. Initially, Savannah was reported as a missing person to the Richmond Police Department, who have been following up on multiple tips and leads about her disappearance over the past six months. Multiple searches by Richmond Police Department, KSP, local police agencies, and volunteers have occurred throughout Garrett County and Central Kentucky. As part of the initial investigation by Richmond Police Department, the three men last seen with Savannah Spurlock were identified and interviewed one of which was David Sparks. The investigation indicates that Savannah Spurlock was seen at the residence of David Sparks during the morning hours of January the 5th. As a result of the ongoing investigation, David Sparks, 23 years old of Lancaster, Kentucky, was arrested early this morning in connection to the recovery of Savannah Spurlock's body. He was lodged at the Madison County Detention Center charged with tampering with physical evidence and abuse of a corpse and has since been taken to the Lincoln County Regional Detention Center. Over the coming days, detectives will continue their investigation into what led to the death and disappearance of Savannah Spurlock. At this time, additional information may be released. At this time, I'd be happy to open the floor up for a few questions. Uh, as a result of the autopsy, we are still waiting on the cause of death. Uh, that'll come back from the medical examiner's office uh, whenever they uh, complete their discovery. About uh, about four months ago, I believe in February, uh, law enforcement uh, responded to the, the location on Fall uh, Lick Road uh, in Garrett County, which time a search was done. Um, the, the property is owned. Uh, by some of uh, Mr. Sparks' family members. Okay, during that search, no body was found. Right? Uh, during that search, no no body was found. That's correct. The body may have been brought back to the there, there's a lot of things uh, that we're going to be continuing to look at in the coming days and weeks as part of the ongoing investigation, trying to determine uh, when the body uh, may have been placed there. Can you explain the nature of the charge? Why it was charged? With what you, uh, 
Yeah, as, as, a, as a result of the ongoing investigation, uh, the information that we had uh, based upon her location, uh, where she was located, um, we felt that the, the abuse of the corpse and tampering with physical evidence uh, was a charge that we could, uh, you know, actually charge him with this morning. What's the status of the two of the men that we're seeing? Right as far as the other two individuals, uh, there haven't been any charges at this time, uh, so I don't want to get into any kind of speculation about uh, what may happen. Okay. Do any charges going forward? Uh, I, I don't know if of any uh, charges moving forward. Uh, after the discovery of the body early this morning and late last night, we're really still pretty uh, early into this investigation. Uh, over the coming days and weeks, there's going to be a lot of questions that we still have to answer. You guys were the last night on a call with that owner. Do you believe that you were alive previous to the last 24 hours? Uh, no, I don't believe that there's any indication uh, that she was placed there uh, recently. Uh, I think that the, the, the odor is what uh, kind of indicated, and that's what the information that we received yesterday, that's what led us there. What do you mean she was found in an unnatural position? Uh, what, do, what do you mean? The body was found in an unnatural position. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't seen the unnatural position. Um, I think that the location and manner of how the, the uh, body was recovered um, was uh, gives us a lot of suspicion about what may have happened. Can you talk about the other items that were discovered? As far as the, the specific items that were recovered, uh, all of that is uh, sensitive to this investigation. Um, those are specific details that we won't be able to release and should be coming out in course, pr court proceedings. Did the Sparks and parents tell you how they uh, I have not spoke to the Sparks family um, personally, and so I think that uh, we, we have been in contact and communication with them. Uh, as you can imagine, uh, there's a lot of heartbreak um, in every aspect of this investigation. Well, that'll you know, we're going to allow our detectives to continue their investigation uh, to try to determine exactly what happened uh, moving forward. Um, so the, the, the autopsy today, those reports are going to take a little while to come back from the state medical examiner's office. Uh, during the com coming days, uh, detectives are going to continue to follow up on, on tips, leads, interview people to try to determine and paint a better picture about what may have actually happened. Explain a scenario where you know um, investigators and doctors were out there four months ago, but a body was not found. And here we are. <laughs> You know, getting into, uh, you know, why why we didn't see it uh, four months ago, it would be complete speculation uh, as far as moving forward with that. So I'd hate to hate to speculate and give false information. Well, that'll conclude uh, today's interview. Uh, we do. We thank you for being here today. Uh, and we do ask that you respect the privacy of the family uh, during this very difficult time. Thank you all very much. So sad. <clears throat> Um, I am, you know, I am grateful that she is found, but it's just a sad situation. Now I'm curious as to when the charges, um, will proceed. I guess they'll let us know, you know, as the investigation continues and we'll continue to follow it. Um, leave your comments down in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next one.